Brother Muhammad from Qatar is concerned. Ramadan is just around the corner. And uh, where he is at, some people pray in some masajid that taraweeh is 20 plus rakahs. Is this okay? And he says that there is a hadith in which the hadith Aisha radiallahu anha narrated that the Prophet sallallahu used to pray 11 rakah, whether in Ramadan or outside Ramadan, any time other than Ramadan, and he did not exceed to that. This hadith is pertaining the night prayer that the Prophet sallallahu used to offer. But he did not restrict the prayer to this number. And the companions used to pray be beyond that. If they wanted to pray 15, 17, 20, 36, it was narrated even some, they offered the prayer 21 and 36. Okay? So this is a nafl prayer. It's a voluntary prayer. It is not a mandatory one. Because the other hadith in which the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam said, sallallahu alayhi wasallam, مَنْ صَلَّى مَعَ إِمَامِهِ حَتَّى يَنْصَرِفْ كُتِبَ لَهُ قِيَامُ لَيْلَةِ And this is a very important hadith. It adjures the musallin to attend the full prayer with the imam in taraweeh, I mean, until he finishes. Even if they're planning to pray afterward, they also still pray the witch with the imam. Then afterward, they can pray an extra rak'ah to make it even. In order to achieve the reward of praying for a whole night. The whole night means from sunset till dawn. And that's why. It is very important to make sure that when you attend the prayer with the Imam, you attend from beginning to end. You don't say, I don't follow this madhab. And I would only pray eight rak'ahs, then I will step out. You miss the reward. Or go to a masjid where the imam is only praying eight rak'ahs in addition to the witch, three rak'ahs. But if you pray in this masjid and you choose to pray in this masjid, do not split the community. Do not have a different opinion because this is okay and this is okay. The most ideal is eight rak'ahs, then the witch, three rak'ahs, two and one. But if you attend the prayer in the haram, if you attend the prayer in Qatar, if you attend the prayer, many masajid, dear ikhwani, in the States, we used to have this problem all the time, and of course, in, in the UK and here and there. Some people insist that we have to pray 21 rakas, and some insist, no, we'll only pray 20. And they fight over that. So it, it was to the point that we had to hire two imams. One would lead the prayer up to eight rakas, then pray which, and those who would like to continue will continue with. Uh, another imam. This is not right. This is a nafl prayer. It's a sunnah. It's not mandatory. It's not wajib. So if you attend with the imam in order to obtain the full reward, join him. Similarly, I said in fajr prayer, according to the jumhur, the qunut al-jumhur means the vast majority of the jurors. The qunut which is making dua, if you were to make dua in the father prayer, it should be in the five daily prayers. You cannot single out one uh, prayer. According to Imam al-Shafi'i, and relying on a hadith narrated by Anas ibn Malik, that the Prophet ﷺ used to make qunut in fajr all the time. So he adopted this view that you should make qunut in fajr. So if the Imam happens to be following a Shafi'i madhab, and following this hadith, and you are following the opinion of al-Jumhur, which is the most correct in this regard, still follow the Imam in making ta'meen. So it says, Oh Allah, give us this and that. Allahumma hdina fi man hadayt. And you should say, Ameen. You should not sing alone. You should not drive in the opposite direction. Because, Innama ju'i lal imamu liu'tamma bih. This is a problem that we have today. We do have an imam, but everyone has an opinion. And every opinionated person is prejudiced to his opinion. And like, you know, every person is a nation by himself. Once we have an imam, the imam was made to be followed, especially in the salah. He says, Allahu Akbar, you follow him. To the extent that you're not allowed to go faster than the imam. You ever go faster than the imam, your prayer is invalid. Your prayer is invalid. If the imam forgot the middle tashahud, and you're fully awake, imam already rose up and he stood up. You too have to skip the middle tashahud. 
You don't say, he erred, he forgot, but I'm all alert. I'm going to make the middle tashahud no. So he stood up and he forgot, he left the middle tashahud out of forgetfulness. And now you remember it fully. But you still have to follow the Imam in his forgetfulness because he joined the fard, standing up is a pillar, while the middle tashahud is a sunnah. إنما جعل الإمام ليؤتم به The Imam was made to be followed Not to have a different opinion And every person would uh, uh, suggest something جزاكم الله خير يا أيها الذين آمنوا أطيعوا الله وأطيعوا الرسول وأولي الأمر من